In the first step, we add VNX storage to the Epson server. We input the IP address of SPA and SPB and also provide the user credential to log in the storage system. In this step, we add the recent server to the AppSync server. This allows us to protect, mount, and restore CPU server database on VMware virtual disks. For successful mapping to the virtual disks, the recent server must be added to the AppSync server. In this step, we add the CQ Server virtual machine to the AppSync server. The CQ Server application we want to protect is running on the host. AppSync server pushes the plugin software from the AppSync server to the host. You can also install the plugin software manually on the host. In this step, we discover the CQ Server instance and the OLTP database running on that. After successful connect to the CQ Server, AppSync shows the CQ Server user database folder, which contains all the user databases that have been discovered. In this step, we create an AppSync service plan to protect the CQ Server database by creating snapshots. AppSync provides three default service plans, and we can also create a new service plan by using an existing plan as a template. In our testing environment, we set the startup time as scheduled and RPO as one hour. In our testing environment, we keep maximum 4 snapshots for the database run. In the last step, we subscribe the SQL Server database to the service plan. The AppSync Server will execute the plan at scheduled time to create snapshots for the database log. 